Five Bloods is a spikely directed movie that follows the return of four Vietnam veterans back to Vietnam, uh, Melvin, Eddie, Paul, and Otis. And while they're in Vietnam, they attempt to bring back the return of their squad member uh, named Norman, who is played by Chadwick Boseman. And Chadwick Boseman doesn't really need much of an introduction. Uh, he's played Black Panther, and that movie was a massive hit. And also while they're in Vietnam, uh, one of their main goals, and along to bring back Norman's remains, is also to bring back some lost hidden treasure. And one of the themes of the book, of the movie, is really greed and how people will throw away friendship and loyalty if it means they can acquire an extra dollar. And there's even a scene where uh, the character Eddie is holding up a golden nugget and he's pointing to it and he says, my mother always told me that money is root of all evil. So I think that scene kind of highlights one of the main points that the movie is trying to get across uh, to the viewer. Uh, another, thing would really be, another theme would really be reconciliation. Uh, all the characters, uh, with the exception of Paul, don't harbor any more animosity uh, towards the Vietnamese people. And they've kind of left the past in the past. But again, Paul is the exception to that. Uh, there is a scene where they're at a trading market and you know, a Vietnamese gentleman keeps insisting on Paul to buy a chicken. And you know, Paul keeps declining and he gets upset and annoyed and he calls the Vietnamese gentleman a racial slur. And you know, the gentleman you know, obviously takes offense and he starts telling Paul that you know, you killed my brother, my sister, my father, my entire family. And you know, Paul says, no, that's not true. You don't know what happened. Obviously referencing his time back in Vietnam. Uh, when he was a American soldier, and we all know the atrocities that took place on both sides of the war. So the movie is really just trying to show that even though wars end, uh, that deep-seated uh, animosity kind of still lingers. It doesn't disappear uh, with the signing of a single peace treaty. Uh, and you know, some things I liked about the film is the fact that it is up to date with current events and is also rich in black history. Uh, the opiate epidemic is, ref is referenced. Uh, black rep reparations for slavery uh, is also referenced. Uh, Donald Trump's uh, Election is also referenced. Uh, the Black Lives Matters movement is also referenced, uh, and so yeah, it's very up to date with current events. Uh, and again, you know, the movie is rich in Black history. Uh, the first ten minutes or so is really just an intro, uh, and it's all in color of prominent civil rights uh, leaders: uh, Bobby Seale, Angel Davis, uh, Malcolm X, uh, MLK. All of them giving speeches, and it's all in color, which kind of adds, you know, a different element. Uh, to it, you know, it really makes it more raw and real and definitely more relatable because the civil rights movement really was not that long ago, uh, probably like le about a generation ago. So it is very recent still. And in, in this depiction of the Vietnam War, it is very raw and graphic and unfiltered. And I applaud Spike Lee for that because, you know, war shouldn't be romanticized. Um, and, you know, it should be given in this raw form, you know, no censorship. And, you know, some of the scenes are just very shocking, you know, again, you know, dead children, uh, executions of people. It's very raw and graphic, but again, it's just to show the viewer that, you know, war is cruel, the true nature of war. Uh, some things I didn't really like about the movie uh, would probably be, uh, you know, at times it seemed a little bit exaggerated, especially some of the gun scenes. It seemed a bit cartoonish. And at times, characters did seem a little bit emotionally detached. You know, there are deaths in this film, and, you know, characters would just kind of move on from those deaths rather quickly. I like almost as if there's no time to mourn. And it just seemed a little odd and weird to me for that. But, uh, you know, it's, other than that, the movie is, you know, fantastic. If I had to rate it 1 out of 10, I'd give it like a 7.5 or an 8. I mean, it's a perfect movie really just for the current time period, especially when we are talking about the recent protests against police brutality, uh, you know, and police oppression. You know, you're going to only leave this movie with more knowledge of the civil rights era and, you know, of, and of black activists. Again, you know, Bobby Seale, Angela Davis, you know, all uh, those prominent leaders, you know, uh, and a fact that I learned from this movie is that, you know, the Boston Massacre, the first person who threw like a brick at the British soldiers was a black man. So again, you're only going to leave this movie with more knowledge and uh, you def it definitely fits the current time period, you know, when we're talking about the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, perfect film uh, for this current climate. Uh, and yeah, the movie also is on Netflix, so it's perfectly accessible and I think it's trending right now too. So. Uh, I see this film definitely getting some awards in the future. But yeah, that concludes my review for The Five Bloods. Great film. Definitely give it a watch. You know, you'll gain more knowledge. And thanks for watching. And subscribe here for more, for more movie reviews in the future.